Hey everyone, let's look at number seven in section 310. Nice little related rates problem here. Suppose that both the radius r and the height h of a circular cone are increasing at a rate of seven centimeters per second. So both the both the base radius of a cone and its height are um, increasing at the same rate. How fast is the volume of the cone increasing when the radius is 15 centimeters and the height is 20 centimeters? And then give your answer to one decimal place. So I'm going to let V be the volume. Notice we're given again dr dt and dh dt. Those are the rates of change of the radius and the height of the cone with respect to time, those are both equal to seven centimeters per second. And we're to find, right, how fast is the volume of the cone increasing? So we're gonna find dv dt when, right, r is 15 centimeters and h is 20 centimeters. So what's the equation that relates our variables, v, r, and h together? It's just the volume of a cone. Now on the help sheet that I give you on the test, you will find the volume of a cone formula right here. It's actually one third the volume of a corresponding cylinder with the same radius and height, uh, but there it is, okay? So we are going to use that and we're gonna take the derivative uh, with respect to T of both sides. Now, when I take the derivative with respect to T, um, on this side, it's easy, right? We just get dV dt, right? The derivative V with respect to T, which is what we're looking for. So we need to figure out over here that when I take the derivative with respect to t here, remember it's with respect to t, r and h are both functions of t. And so this is r squared times h. That's a product, right? r is a function of time, h is a function of time. What rule do we have to use there? We have to use the product rule, right? Again, the derivative with respect to x of say u times v is u prime, well, du dx, I'll just abbreviate u prime v plus u v prime. Or again, the prime marks means the derivative with respect to x. Okay, so that's what we're gonna use. Now this one third pi, I'm just gonna pull that out as a constant multiple. And so I'm gonna take the derivative of r squared times h, and then r squared times the derivative of h with respect to t. So what's the derivative of r squared with respect to t? Well, it's chain rule because r is a function of time. The outer function's r squared, the inner function's r. Derivative is derivative of the outer function, which is 2r, times the derivative of the inner function. What's the derivative of r with respect to t? That's dr dt. So there's the derivative of r squared. So this right here is the derivative of um, r squared with respect to time times h plus r squared times the derivative of h with respect to time, which is just dh dt. Okay. So all I'm going to do, I mean, you could, I'm not going to simplify anything. I'm just going to plug in. I got all the values I need, right? So we want to find it when both dr dt and dh dt are seven. So I'm going to replace those with seven here and there. And then r is uh, 15. I replace r with 15 there. And h is 20. Okay, so r is 15, again, 15 squared. So I need to evaluate all that. And um, I have that in here. Let me pull that up. Here's how it looked at my calculator. So I, instead of one third pi, I just wrote pi over three. I like to put that in parentheses, just so there's no errors with, with calculating anything. Asterisk means times, right? And then I did parentheses, two times 15 times seven times 20 plus 15 squared times seven. I don't need any parentheses in there because the calculator will do the exponent first, then do multiplication, uh, and, you know, left to right, and then finally the addition. So we get that. We're supposed to round it to uh, one decimal place. So be careful, right? That, so there's the first decimal place. The next digit is five or higher at six. So this will round up that five to a six and we'll write 6,047.6. Notice the units of volume are cubic units, right? It's cubic centimeters per second. You can actually see that by plugging in the units to our uh, formula up here, but that, that's what it has to be, right? Since the, the um, lengths are given in centimeters, the volume is cubic centimeters. Okay, so I hope this is helpful on this one.